Salutations, disc golf fans. It is I, disc golf Jesus. Not so barefoot, back at it again. Just kidding, we're not really doing that, but I am throwing a halo groove. What's going on everybody? Today we got another rapid disc review for you. We're gonna be taking a look at the Halo Groove. Just came out from Innova April 1st. This came out as their little April Fool's joke that they did this year. Last year, if you guys didn't see, they did a Nate Sexton Firebird and the stamp was drawn by Nate Sexton. It was pretty funny looking fire chicken. But uh, this year we have the Halo Groove. The, the Groove is, is kind of known to be one of the most hated discs in disc golf. I'm not sure what it is. A lot of people just aren't a fan of the groove. I guess it's inconsistent. I've never personally held a groove until I, pr I picked this up from Flight Factory. So very interesting. If you guys don't know about the groove, the reason it's called the groove is because of this groove on the underside of the wing here. Feels pretty weird in the hands. Looks like a normal disc from the top, but then you grab it and you're like, what is that? So the flight numbers on this bad boy, we got a 13.6, negative two, two. So based on the numbers, I feel like this thing is gonna be an absolute bomber. We'll just have to see. I, I don't know about the consistency. I didn't really read up on this disc much. I'm just gonna be throwing it out there and see what I think about it. Let's give it a couple rips. We're gonna throw it out there flat first and uh, see how she flies. Okay, a little hyzer beefy all right it's just a beefy beefy boy kind of to tell from the first throw i didn't give it a lot of juice and i kind of put it on a lot of hyzer but it didn't flip up at all just kind of held the exact same angle that it came out of my hand in so i don't know i didn't see any turn in that we're going to, have to give it some more throws i'm going to try to throw it on anheuser this time and see if we can uh see if we can get a little turn out of it not sure why anybody would go out of their way to try to throw this thing it doesn't feel great Okay, there's a little turn. Yeah, we got some distance out of it. Wasn't as overstable as I thought. We did get a little bit of turn on it, but kind of cranked it over. Been working on my forehands a little bit, so we're gonna toss it out there on a forehand and uh, see what it does. Ooh, it's beefy. Didn't flip up at all on the forehand. So I have no idea if this thing is more or less overstable than your typical groove. Like I said, I've never thrown a groove. I have to imagine this thing is a little bit more stable being that it's in a halo plastic. That's generally how, that's generally how it works with the Innova plastic. I don't know guys, it seems just kind of like a really beefy driver to me. I don't feel like a lot of normal people are gonna get much use out of this disc. I could barely get any use out of this disc to be honest. Flies like a conqueror. I mean, this thing flies really overstable. I don't, I would not give it a negative two, two at all, or a six glide. <laughs> if I had to re-give this thing numbers, I would say it's probably more, more like a 13, four, zero, four, or zero, three. Uh, I would not give this thing a negative two, two. That's just my, my thoughts on it. It's really beefy. Stay away from it if you're a beginner or just stay away from it in general because it feels funky, but you know, it's called a groove. So it gets groovy. Get through. Oh my gosh. Woo! Just behind the basket. Woo! Okay, it does, uh, does ace run pretty well. Gets a, gets a big skip. All right, we're gonna throw his own little chop ace run for Disc Golf Jesus. Come on. Drop in. Ooh, kinda like that though. Kinda like that. We're gonna throw a skip shot of this thing right into the basket. Do it. Oh, skipped off into nowhere. Kind of want to try a thumber. Bear bite, get at it. The thumber. Wow. Look at the roll. Wow, just amazing. All right, guys, this is going to wrap it up. Hope you all enjoyed. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do the YouTube stuff, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.